Welcome to support videos for Controllum workload automation video series. Today we were going through the process of changing the certificate used by the Controllum Managed File Transfer Enterprises File Exchange Reverse Proxy Server. This procedure will be necessary if you change the host name or you want to use a certificate which is publicly signed. To change out the certificate used by the File Exchange, we first need to gather the correct pieces. We need a signed certificate with its private key and the CA chain used to certify the certificate. This information is typically supplied by your information security team. If this information is supplied in a PKCS12 format, we can jump to step three. Then let's walk through the steps in a demo. In the temporary directory I've created, I've copied over the certificate, its key, and the CA used to certify it, and a copy of the existing key store used by the gateway. Let's take a look at the existing key store. For this, we'll just use the OpenSSL PKCS12 command. We'll specify the key store name, and we just want to gather its info. The default password for this is ABCD1234, and this is used for both the key store and the private key. And we see that we have a issuer down here at MFT Gateway, and the name of the private key is Proxy. So we're going to want to reuse that name when we build our key store. Okay, now let's build our new key store. So what our command does right here is it calls the same PKCS12 utility we used before. We're going to export. We're listing our certificate as an in, the key. We're naming it proxy so it matches our previous. And then we're specifying the cert file. If you had additional certificate files, you can actually do additional minus cert files under the end. And then we're giving it out of our new name. This is the private key passphrase. And we're going to set the key store to use control M. So what we're going to do now is let's take a look at this key store we just created. And this is our control M password again. And you see that we have our video solutions signed certificate here. Okay, so at this point, what we want to do is we want to copy this into the data directory of the MFT proxy. Okay, let's copy our new key store into the data directory. And once we've copied it in place, the next step we need to do is go to the CCM and configure this new key store to be used. Once we're in the CCM, we're going to go to the Manage tab, select the B2B configuration, and we're going to go to Settings, Gateway Settings, and we're going to change this to match the name of our key store. And let's update the password. And save. Now at this point, we want to go back and recycle the gateway. And for this, we're going to run the shut script. We'll verify it's down for a quick PS. Okay, it's currently down, so let's start it back up. And this can take a few seconds while we wait for the configuration to be fetched from the hub. And we're going to use the following OpenSSL command to connect to it and show the certificates. And here you see it's the new video solution certificate that we had created earlier. That concludes today's demo. This concludes our Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.